Hi guys, it's Heather and I'm back for another video. So if you guys haven't watched part one of this video, I'll leave the link down below. Today I am doing a step-by-step -step walkthrough on how I design best-selling designs for my Etsy store. Before we get into the video though, please hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, and like the video. Please comment any questions that you guys have during the video and I am happy to answer. We will jump into the tutorial. I'm gonna start off by creating a design. I like like to do a custom design and I already have it filled out. When I create design I always hit custom size and then the width and height I like doing at 5,000. In general you can do 2,000 by 2,000, 3,000 by 3,000, 4,000 by 4,000, or 5,000 by 5,000. We want to stick above 2,000 by 2,000 pixel because this will give us our highest resolution per our design and that's essentially we, what we want so when our print company gets our design they have a high res resolution design to put on to our t-shirts and sweatshirts we are selling to the customer. So we'll hit create new design that'll open up a new tab for us here and Today I am just going to focus on something simple. We're going to start with the teacher niche. I personally think that this is still a very good niche to sell in. I have seen quite a few new designs doing pretty well lately on there. So what I've noticed is a lot of people really do like the long style letters. So honestly this is something that I've been doing and other people can do. So this font is called six caps and it's a really great font to use personally i use it in a lot of my listings and you guys could easily use it too this is a high selling type of t-shirt we can make so all i'm going to do is type out teacher and then the greatest part of designing is i found that the most basic designs sell and it is so true because I've had some designs that I work on for hours and hours that do not sell not even one design will sell on it and then I do something basic like this and it sells in a day so one of the things that we really want to do with each design that we make is make it as big as we can we want to maximize the size of our item so one thing that I've noticed is people really love colors. Today we're going to play with the color and kind of edit our colors a little bit on this t-shirt. Now I will say the way your design looks is not how it's going to transfer on the t-shirt. That's why it's very important you order samples once we put it on the t-shirt. But for this example, I'm just going to use this color group I have here. It's called Rose Colored Glasses. I wanted to say real quick that I do have the Canva Pro plan and palettes are only available for the Pro plan. Again, I do have a 30-day free trial sign up in the links below if you guys do want to sign up for that as it is not free for everyone. However, you can find these colors very easily or make these colors yourselves. One other thing I wanted to mention before we go any further into the video is I do want to warn you all to if this video is reaching a large audience of people, there's going to be multiple people posting this type of design. Please take my design advice, tips, and tricks as inspiration to create your own type of designs and make it your own rather than copying completely. Besides that, happy designing, guys. We're going to continue with the video. Really, has some really cute colors for um, a teacher or a t-shirt. <laughs> now I'm getting mixed up with teacher and t-shirt. So the colors I am running out of. So as you guys can see, these colors are darker and these colors are way lighter. So these are not gonna transfer well on our t-shirt. So we're gonna go back and edit the colors in a moment here, but I'm just gonna get the pattern set up and then we're gonna change the color of this. So I'm gonna change this to more of a darker color. Same with the blue, we're gonna find a darker color we can kind of add in here. I don't want it too dark, so I'm gonna kinda add some gray here. Perfect. We're gonna do the same. Oop, that is the pink color. I have that wrong. Okay, 
So this is essentially the teacher t-shirt. I'm not really gonna do anything else with it. I don't think we really need to do anything crazy. So like I said, basic designs really sell. It's just adding your own touch to the design and that's essentially what could really make it pop. Now this design specifically, since I am making it for you guys on this video, I'm actually gonna sell it below in my Etsy store that I just created. So my Etsy store that I created is a digital content store. So you can buy SVGs and different items as well. So if you guys want this specific design, definitely go check out my store and you guys can buy it there. And then you guys can sell it on your t-shirts if you would like to. So, so once we have our design made, which I think this is a really cute design and I'm really excited for it to add it to my shop, we are going to download it. And the most important part is when you download it, hit transparent background. So sometimes I've had some issues where when I download an item from Canva, it won't upload to Printify because the file size is just too big. Just a FYI, make sure you do 2000 by 2000 or 2000 by 500 on this design. You're welcome. So one way to combat that is you can slide this down to 2500 by 2500 and that will generally be accepted by Printify and Printful. And then next what we're going to do is we'll go to Printify and we're going to connect our Etsy store with Printify and upload our items here. And then I'm going to hit allow access. And then we get the success. So we are in, we are good to go. When you're looking at the catalog, I'll go over the t-shirts with you guys. The t-shirts we have is Bella and Canvas, Gildan, I believe there's Next Level. There's other different types of t-shirts that you can choose from. Personally, my favorite t-shirt and the highest selling t-shirt because the quality is just too good to pass up is the Bella and Canvas 3001. I would highly, highly suggest starting out with this specifically because there are so many t-shirt mock-ups you can purchase with this and there's just so many avenues um, with this t-shirt. The next alone. thing we're going to check out is what print provider we would like. Print providers are ranked as you go down. This would be number one, number two, number three, and they all have their rankings here. Along with that, it shows what colors we can choose from on the side here. And then it also says the average production time, shipping price, and the price that you will pay per item that is purchased in your store. So this is how we're gonna calculate our profit margins. So as I'm going down here, I will say that the ranking, of course we don't want to choose any print provider that is out of our country. If you live in Germany, that's great. If you sell in Germany, that's even better. However, most of my customers, since I live in the US, I will be selling to US customers. Today I'm looking at US factories and the best in my opinion is Monster Digital. I can't say enough how good they are. They're so quick with production time. This 1.16 business days is so accurate to how fast they are. If I have a present or something that I'm getting for my parents or a family member and I need it right away, I use Monster Digital. However, one of my favorites is Swift POD. Their production time is a little bit backed up because of the holiday season, but from my experience, they still ship within two to four business days. They've been incredible through the holiday season, and I can't say enough good things about them. Now, I will say, guys, my pricing is definitely different than the pricing that you guys will see. I have Printify Premium membership. My prices are going to be about a dollar to two dollars less than what you guys will see on your accounts unless you subscribe for Printify Premium. Like I said, you don't need Printify Premium for this. This is just something that I purchased and subscribed to because it saves me money in the long run. It literally saves me hundreds of dollars to do Printify Premium rather than not have Printify Premium. So it makes sense in my case, but if you're new and you're trying this out, definitely do the free plan. Since Swift POD is my absolute favorite, of course I'm going to start designing with them. We are going to click into it and add our design. So when we select the Bella and Canvas 3001, it will show us a ranking system of all the print providers that Printify has in their website. So we, for me personally, I live in the United States, so I would like a United States 
print provider since that's where most of my customers shop as well. So we're just gonna get into adding our design here. So this is our design. What I'm gonna do is bring it up here. So when I'm positioning my designs, I want to make sure my design is around armpit level. What I'm doing is I'm almost drawing a line with my eyes along the bottom, just the very bottom of where the armpits are on the t-shirt. And I'm putting my font just right over the top of that. If you have two or three lines of text, or a bigger logo, you kind of want to stay within the same parameters. So the middle of the whole design would be just at that armpit level. The other thing that you want to make sure that you're doing is you're keeping it centered. So as you can see, this is definitely not centered. And one of the easiest ways to center it is hit this align button and it just centers it horizontally. The nice part about Swift POD, like I was saying earlier, is the color variety. So they have 51 colors that you can choose from, and for this design specifically, I would maybe do like a soft pink, a natural color, and a dark heather gray. I personally love the dark heather gray. If you're ever doing a sample order of your items, 100% suggest trying out the dark heather gray. I love the material of it. Soft pink is nice. It is more translucent of a t-shirt shade. These t-shirts are just so soft and like buttery smooth. Like they are just such nice t-shirt quality. And that's the nice part of print on demand is you get to sell these amazing quality t-shirts with your own designs on them. We are good on this design, so the only nitpick I would have with this design on the dark heather gray is the colors might fade a little bit once it transfers onto the t-shirts. So the type of printing that the print on demand providers use is mainly DTG, which is direct to garment printing. This is where they infuse the ink into the fibers of the t-shirt, which can cause kind of a faded look of your design. That's something to consider when you're choosing colors and whatnot for your designs. Most of the times, if you're choosing a dark colored t-shirt, the colors will not be as vibrant because you're kind of getting a transparency as the ink infuses into those fibers of the t-shirt. I've had a lot of issues with black sweatshirts, especially with white ink. I completely stopped selling black sweatshirts with white ink on my store because it looked so faded and so awful. And I've had so many customer complaints that it was taking my Etsy store's review ranking down. I personally use dark heather gray in substitute of black because the dark heather gray, the colors come out a lot more vibrant. This is why sample orders are so important. I would highly, highly suggest getting a sample order to start off. You can choose a more vibrant design. You would just hit this make a specific de design for dark heather gray. Then you would add in your design, delete the old design, and then when your customer chooses the dark heather gray, the design will show up more vibrant for your customer. I'm gonna uncheck that for this example here. Since we're kind of keeping it simple today, I personally like to preview before I save it. I like to look at all of my designs together. I think this is a really cute design and I really love the colors we have going on. I'm gonna save the product here and we'll move on to the next step, which is uploading to Etsy. We're gonna go in and hit edit listing. As we can see, we could see the preview of the design. And all that I'm going to do for now is type in teacher short sleeve T, and we're gonna get more into SEO title and tags after we put this item on our mockups too. One thing I wanna mention that's very important when you're starting this Etsy business is you wanna have a profit margin of $5 starting out. I think with Printify and Etsy, this is very reasonable and keeps your costs low so you can make that first sale starting off. Personally, now I make a profit of $10 to $12 per item that I sell, but to start off, I only made a profit of $5 to $7 per item. The prices and profit you will see on here will be quite different than what mine is. I have the Printify premium plan, so that's gonna make my profit margins much higher than what you guys might see. The nice tool they have on Printify is you can select all and you can hit edit profit. Since Etsy takes 5% transaction fee when you sell the item, I try to go above that and kind of still make my $5 profit by just hitting by just increasing my listings by 5%. So if I want a $5 profit, then $5 times 0 0.05 is about 65 cents. I'm going to have a profit of $5.65 per item. 
This varies per size though, so that's why I try to do the profit rather than the full price of everything. So on my list, a small will not be the same as a large because Printify and the print providers on Printify charge a little bit differently per size and color of your item. You have options to change the sizes available. I know some people uncheck 3XL, some people don't like selling extra small, but personally, I keep all of my variants open. I feel like I just wanna keep the widest selection for my customers I can get, and if I run out of stock of one of these items, then it's as simple as just messaging the cu customer and canceling the order. That's basically it once we have our prices set up. You have options for variant visibility down below as well. You can show all of your variants as available. However, I would suggest just showing only show in stock variants and hide any out of stock variants. Personally, I do this just because I don't want my customers to see that I have a bunch of stuff that's out of stock. And the shipping profile at the bottom, Printify will create a new shipping profile for you. We're just gonna hit publish and we will go to our Etsy shop next. So guys, that is the end of my design process for this video. In our next video, we're going to upload our designs to our mock-up images, upload that to Etsy, fill in the rest with SEO title tags and everything else that you guys need to know to upload that final listing and make that first listing on your Etsy shop. So I will see you guys in that next video.